hello guys and welcome to another video here um today we're going to be working through downloading and installing the uh kali linux uh virtual machine here on the virtual uh vmware uh player uh basically we don't have the file uh or whatever we need so i'm going to walk you through how to do that the first thing we need to do um, is to come over here and just type in kali linux just type kali linux um, download and just click on get kali here this is the official website kali.org click on get kali it takes us over to this page uh, where we have installer images and virtual machines and there's so different options and ways to actually go by downloading this but just come straight to this part where you see installer all right so click on this installer we have the current version i think it's 2025 february so just come over here and click on installer and download it's automatically downloading and if you see here we see Kali uh, Linux 10.25 to installer uh, the ISO so it's downloading so we're gonna wait once it's done downloading we'll move over to install okay all right uh, we have the Kali Linux uh, installer completely downloaded and we go over to the folder like we did before I'm gonna move this into my tech tools and I'm gonna to open it so we already uh, previously I uh, done a video about installing a VMware workstation so currently I'm going to install Kali Linux 2025 um, installer and to do that move over to my VMware right here so you can actually come here and create a new virtual machine or you can actually come over to the file here and click on new virtual machine they both do the same thing or you can click on Control N and it also do the same thing for you so we're right now creating a new virtual machine wizard and uh, basically it's typical so we're just going to stick to this one instead of using advanced so click on next uh there are basically two ways you can actually go about this you can from the on go uh, uh, install the iso image it works both ways but for now let's just try this one uh, we'll install the operating system later so I'll click on next it's a Linux machine, so I'll click on Linux, and the version here is let's select others and Linux 6.x can all 64 bits. Hit next. Uh, over here, I'm going to name my virtual machine, so I can call it Kali VM1 in case you have multiple. And then the location where you want to default the preference, I uh, usually want to save that in my D drive um, VM okay all right you can save that anywhere you want then click on next um i'm going to be making use of kali for a lot of things so i can give my disks up to 80 gig uh, right there um i would like to store the virtual disks as a single file i don't want to split them um then wait then you can click on next and over here you have a summary of what you've selected so far you just click on finish all right, once you finish, you get this page here and we'd like to do some editing before we continue. So we'll click on edit virtual machine settings. The first one is memory. I'd like to increase the memory to about four gig. Let's put that at four gig here. Four gig, perfect. And then processor, we can leave that at two. That's totally fine. And then uh, hard disk, uh, 80 gig is okay. And then, uh, over here for the CD, DVD, SATA, auto detect, we would now use the ISO image file. Here we can now browse and go straight to uh, downloads. Um, yeah, basically, use my downloads. Let's just access this easily here. And then tech tools, and then select the Kali Linux 2025 install image. So I'll select that, and it's selected right now and over here we have uh, the network adapter i'm just going to leave it for nat yeah and uh, user controller that's just fine if you want to use usb2 uh, that's just fine you can use usb 3.1 if you want that's the most recent version sound card just normal display yeah we'll leave it at using for settings for monitors that's okay now once we're done we click on ok here and once we're done we can now power on this virtual machine just click ok to accept this and here we go All right, here we have an option to install graphical install. The normal install is just click on inside here. You'll be able to move around here. So I, I just want the graphical install. So I'm going to click enter to take out the mouse from the whole point. You just click on control alt and to take out your mouse. And when you want to click inside the board here, you just click it directly. Now I'm going to select English. English, you can select your language. Of course, it should be English because I'm making this video in English. So continue. 
going to just leave that con uh, United States American English continue and now it's you know doing its thing so let's wait a moment all right now we have yeah we need to set the host name um uh you can just put this as your name if you want so for me i'm just going to put this as emmy nice um here and that's what i want as my host name uh usually if you don't know what your host name should be consult your network administrator host name just anything yeah i'm going to continue and here you can put on a domain name if you have one if you're working with a couple of computers and you have a domain name usually dot com dot your company and so on but just keep it if you don't have so click on continue and now we need to put my full name i'm just going to put email nice right there and click on continue you can just leave the username as the same thing email nice you click on continue here and then you set up a password uh, for the kali and just set up a good password if you want and hit enter allow that to be in eastern continue all right so it's going to be doing its thing i might just fast forward this part to when it finishes all right yeah here we're going to be uh based on partition we're going to use the entire disk so i'm not uh, separating it um just click on continue here obviously it's automatically selecting uh the scsi here so we'll continue over here all files in one partition is recommended for new users if you know what you're doing you can select separate options here so i'm just going to leave this at uh, all files in one partition and finish partition and write changes to this yeah basically and then click continue over here we're going to select yes the following partitions are going to be formatted write the changes to this and you click on yes we'll continue. click on continue here and um, yeah it's doing its thing All right, over here we have um, um, the environment here. You can customize the different desktop environment. And in this point, I would like to add genome to the selection and then click on continue. All right, so here we have to select uh, um, the display manager. Um, you can just press more that, but just leave it at the fourth, the GDM3. Uh, just click on continue. Right, this took quite a while. It's definitely going to take quite um, a while if you're doing it. So um, to install the Jira bootloader, we're going to say yes to that and just continue. And we're going to select the dev SDA. This is where it mounts the, um, you know, the partition. So we're going to just uh, hit continue here. Now it's finishing the installation. All right, so the installation is complete. So it's time to boot into your new system. Make sure to remove the installation media. Usually, if you're using um, you know uh, like a USB uh, to make this so we're just going to continue and it's going to do a reboot and stuff like that and yep perfect so uh, as you can see we're here so in this case I'm now going to type in my password and hit enter at this in this case i can just close this here close this home page so that we only have the kali and there we go all right so the the interface is this way because of the genome and stuff like that so over here i'm going to click on the terminal and in this case right now i'm just going to sudo apt update update so hit enter put in your password and that works okay so it's going to update um can be upgraded run apt be able to see them all right so in this case i'm also going to sudo apt uh upgrade as well and click dash y which is to say yes to it in whichever place it needs to so once we do that i'm going to reduce this a little bit great Alright, that was it. Uh, we just completed uh, the update and upgrade 
and uh, uh, I'll see you guys for another video and thanks for watching ciao